This video is made in partnership with Grams28. My everyday carry has changed quite a bit since last year. If you guys don't know, I've taken a break from my iPhone 15 Pro and I've been using the Samsung S24 Ultra as my primary device for over three weeks now. This phone has reignited my love for cell phones and it's been really fun switching, especially since generational phone upgrades have been pretty minimal. The S24 Ultra has been absolutely amazing. The battery life has been a huge upgrade, especially coming from an iPhone. It can easily last a whole day, and in fact, my phone says a full charge can last about a day and 13 hours, which is pretty insane. The screen is definitely one of the best ones I've seen in a smartphone. It's great for almost anything, and the anti-reflective coating has been a really nice quality of life improvement. I've been using the S Pen a lot more recently, especially for productivity. I've been writing my to-do list using this phone, and I love the fact that I can take my notes with me wherever I go. I know you're probably wondering, how can I survive without iMessage? Well, the thing is, I don't have to. I downloaded an app called Blue Bubbles that has allowed me to use iMessage on my S24 Ultra, but the catch is I have to keep my MacBook Pro turned on 24-7, Otherwise, I lose the connection. It's a minor inconvenience, but having blue bubbles has played a big part as to why I've enjoyed the S24 Ultra so much without hesitation. Typically, I don't like carrying big phones, but the S24 Ultra offers so much and the trade-off has been worth it for me. One thing that has bothered me though is the fact that the corners of the phone easily pokes out and through my pockets, especially when I'm sitting, which can be annoying at times. The cameras have been kind of hit or miss this past three weeks, especially at higher resolutions, but I just saw that the new software update is now available and it should address some of the camera issues that I was having, so I don't wanna say too much right now, I'll keep playing with the cameras and share my thoughts in my full review. If you want to hear more about my initial experience when it comes to switching to the S24 Ultra, I talked about it in my previous video, which you can check out in the links below. And I'm also working on a day in the life video with the S24 Ultra, kind of like a travel edition while I'm in Hawaii. And I'm really excited for that. So if you don't want to miss out on that video when it goes live, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. When it comes to accessories, I was using an ESR MagSafe case and wallet stand. One issue with it though is that the magnets interfere with the S Pen, which is so unfortunate. I love MagSafe accessories, especially using a wallet and stand. I know some people are concerned about carrying their wallet this way because when you lose your phone, you lose your wallet. But I don't think that's an issue for me at all. I always know where my phone is and if anything, there's less things to worry about because my phone and wallet are together. I also replaced my Apple Watch Ultra with the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. I've been wanting something different for a while now, something that looks a bit more like a traditional watch, and I really love the look of this watch. I got it in silver to really have that traditional feel, and I got a silicone band from Amazon which I think pairs well with it. My favorite thing about this is the rotating bezel. It has been a pretty intuitive way to interact with the watch. I use it to set my timers, track my steps, and also my sleep. This watch even measures my stress level, which is pretty interesting. I will say though that the user experience of the Galaxy Watch X Classic has not been as smooth as the Apple Watch. I find it to be a little bit slower and not as responsive, and the battery life has been a bit disappointing, especially when compared to my Apple Watch Ultra, which I know is not a fair comparison, but I think it's worth pointing out. I have a few bags that I use for different occasions. My needs change on a daily basis, but what I can tell you is that most of them are from Grams 28. Their products are good both in terms of aesthetic and quality, and I think they're thoughtfully designed and they fit my style pretty well. I have the 151 Stealth Backpack, which I've used on a lot of my short trips. I have the 154 City Pack, which I use for my meetings and when I only need an iPad. The 133 Essential Case Max is also another favorite. I took this with me to CES 2024 and I got a few compliments while wearing it. It's such a sleek and unassuming camera bag. And most recently, Grams28 released the 171 Laptop Sling and the 172 camera sling. They follow the same design language as my favorite bags. It's made out of full grain Italian leather which makes it look so sleek and classy. They make for a perfect everyday bag since they look professional enough for work, definitely stylish enough for play, and they're absolutely great for travel. The 171 laptop sling can carry a 14 inch MacBook Pro, a mouse, charger, compact camera, headphones, and other everyday carry essentials. While the 172 camera sling can carry a full frame camera, 
a lens, and it also has a dedicated place for your SD cards, battery, and it has ample space for whatever you might need when you are out and about. And the best part is it doesn't scream camera back, which I really love. What I think is really awesome is that Gram 28 offers a lifetime warranty on their products. This shows you how much they believe in their products and the satisfaction of their customers. And I truly cannot recommend them enough. If you're interested in any of these products, make sure to use the link below and get 15% off your order. For the longest time, I was using this pocket knife that I got as a gift for being a groomsman, but it's starting to fall apart, so I replaced it with the Mag Blade from Daily Carry Co. First of all, it looks so sleek with its titanium body. And second, it's super satisfying and convenient to use since it has a magnetic butterfly hinge. It's really nice to interact with, it feels great in the hand, it's well balanced, and the magnets are strong so I have no concerns about it accidentally opening. The mag blade looks so cool, and personally, it's one of my favorite upgrades to my everyday carry. Another thing I have with me all the time are my keys, and the Orbit Key key organizer is an absolute must. If you don't know about this key organizer in 2024, what are you doing? I have it linked down below. Get one now. I don't know why you wouldn't. I've been using one since 2018, maybe even earlier than that, and this has become a staple for me. It keeps my keys neat and compact, which reduces the bulk in my pocket, and this also protects other things that I have in my pocket from scratches. What is new though is that I am using the Ring version 2 now. This makes adding and removing keys super easy, and it's such a nice quality of life upgrade. This is something that will be a part of my everyday carry from now on. For my everyday earbuds, I am still using the AirPods Pro Gen 2. It has amazing noise cancellation, decent battery life, and I'm pretty satisfied with its sound. One thing I didn't expect though was how good it would work with my S24 Ultra and even my handheld gaming devices. I thought I was gonna have to get a different pair to use with my non-Apple devices, but I've had zero issues with it so far. One frustrating thing though is that this version uses the lightning port and most of my devices are now USB-C, but I'm not sure it's worth spending money just to get a USB-C case, so I'll stick with this for now. Sometime last year, I bought this Manscaped grooming kit. It popped up on my Amazon homepage and it was on sale, so I thought, why not get it? And shortly after, for Christmas, my aunt gifted me this one from Royce and the quality is just so much better, so this is the one that I bring with me. I can't stand having long fingernails and this allows me to make sure that my fingernails are clean and that I'm always presentable. It comes in this leather case, which just looks a bit more classy than the Manscaped one, but both of them pretty much do the same job. The Pocket 3 is a new tool that I'm trying to bring with me more often. I am wanting to film less produced, more candid type of video, and the Pocket 3 seemed like a great compact device that can help me capture high quality videos on the go. I got the Creator Combo, which comes with a DJI Mic 2 and other accessories that I think will streamline my content creation process. This will be the only video camera that I'm bringing with me in Hawaii to film that day in the life video with the S24 Ultra. So if you wanna see some sample clips, stay tuned. So that's my EDC for 2024. If you guys made it this far in the video, type every day in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.